Hi, I'm Patricia Molshan, and this is my tiny house. Who I am is a, a soon-to-be-retired person. <laughs> That's the goal. That's what this tiny house is all about. Living sustainably, but also as a retirement, an affordable retirement for me. The first thing we'll look at is my beautiful deck. It's not attached to the house at all, so it's actually in, can be broken down into a couple pieces for the length, and then all of these uh, panels come up, or are panels, so they're separate. And uh, yeah, so it's it's a beautiful deck. I'm really happy with it. I have a, an awning over my door, which is really important because I didn't have it for a very long time. And you know, you open up the door and you got rain coming in on you. So anyway, I'm really happy about that. The house is uh, 22 feet long by eight and a half feet wide. And I kind of built it to the maximum. I got a lot more space on the inside and even an inch or two on the inside makes a huge difference. So I have a, a beautiful French door here and it uh, has, which is very helpful, very nice. and. But the other part of this is because it's not that wide of a door, I decided to put in another side door. And so it opens up and it has actually its own little uh, blinds in it as well. And uh, so that makes it easier to put things in and out, especially like when we were building the house, it was really important to have that. So come on in. Her name's Callie. So this is my living room slash uh, spare bedroom. This couch, which my brother designed, actually has four boxes for storage and it will open up into a double size bed. And so I do have to move a couple things when that happens. So that's mainly for storage up there. Originally, I wanted it to be used for an extra sleeping area. My bathroom, I have a separate toilet in there. I actually have a, a larger RV tub in there so that I can have a sit bath because I like to. Then for the rod inside, uh, it's a curved rod so that when you have a shower, you don't hit the shower curtain, which is really helpful. What this is, is just a place to put, you know, all your TP and supplies and things like that. But below is I needed a spot for my cat and I didn't know where to put the litter box. So I put it in the cabinet and have an opening into the cabinet so the cat can just get in and out as needed. And then it's easy to open up these doors and pull out the, the litter and clean it. The floor is, it's a tile that it's got a cork back to it, but it fits together and it doesn't leak. It looks like uh, tile or stone, but it isn't. My bathroom is totally waterproofed. This is my closet and um, the TV is actually supposed to be up in the wall, but that is going to happen. Um, but we wanted to make it kind of like a feature, except for we have this ugly thing uh, for the electrical. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, get a mirror and uh, cover it up like a two foot mirror by about 16 to 18 inches and then just have a mirror there instead. So that's my solution to that problem. So I really love my kitchen. It, there's tons of storage in it. I don't have an oven and I shouldn't say that I have a roasting oven. So one of the portable ones that you can um, do a turkey in it if you want and you can bake stuff in it but I'm not a baker and I hardly ever used my oven when I was living in my apartment, so I figured that it wasn't worth putting one in. And for my stove um, top, I have a burner, and I love this Sultan burner, and it's got a nice ceramic top to it, so it, they're really easy to clean and stuff. So I do have something that I put here just to, you know, make sure that nothing is going to affect that, or I can put it on my on my uh, countertop there's another piece that goes in here and I do a lot of work on here too if I'm doing a lot of 
cooking and stuff so um, I so that can actually go on there and uh, so or it can be used for seating area as well and I kind of like this idea here which was not something I planned for but my uh, Nathan, the guy that was doing the finishing work for me, um, suggested that we put them in because they're called kick drawers. And so they're really cool because they fit all the really, um, you know, things that aren't like pans and things like that, that where do you put them? And also too, it's, it's always usually wasted space under there. So there's, and, and then underneath my fridge, I have another drawer which which amazingly is mostly for, for tea but anyways this is my little countertop dishwasher which is now a built-in dishwasher and there's lots of room in there you know on the other side of this wall is my office and landing area even though this wall is here but right past this piece of paneling is places for file folders and stuff for my office and then on this side we have you know shelves shelves lots of shelves and I love how the shelves were turned out here okay so this is my laundry area and I have a little washer spin dryer and I just have a, a rack which I think I'll get another rack but uh, a bigger one you know, I just pull it out and hook it up to the, to the faucet and then do my laundry and hang stuff out side. And if it's towels, I like to take them to the laundromat. And then I have a little closet where I have all my lots of room in there for hanging up stuff. And then here I have a bank of drawers, which I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, I actually, one of the drawers I use for my towels and sheets and stuff, and I thought it was best if it was kind of in plastic because it's a kitchen area. And then this is pots and stuff, and then this is my kind of like my drawer of, uh, I have a juicer in there and a crock pot and, uh, and some other, when I have company, because I don't drink coffee myself, but I have coffee making supplies in here. <laughs> And this is my pantry. Um, lots of shelves in there. I had all my stuff. I got more room than I really need, but I, I, I think that I probably, you know, I'm filling up the spaces, but maybe with stuff I don't absolutely have to have. But uh, I gave, you know, when you move into a tiny house, you give up a lot of, you know, things, and uh, which I did. Um, so I guess having a couple little extra spots of stuff that you don't necessarily have to have is is okay. <laughs> the floor was purchased at the ReStore. It was darker than what I was kind of planning initially for my house. It actually looks nice in here with with the rest of the woodwork and stuff so I'm happy about that. Um, uh, but I probably wouldn't buy from the ReStore unless I knew exactly what I was getting. Um, just because it's not as durable of a floor as what I would have been hoping for. This is my office. Uh, it's a working office. I work out of it about three days, two to three days a week. The rest of the time I go to clients' offices. But um, it looks quite nice. There's a working area right here and then I just bring my keyboard and open up my laptop and work there. And because I do um, bookkeeping. I have a lot of paper that I have to deal with, so I use my bed as my extra workspace. And that works really well, so I just need to take whatever I need here and then I work on it. And I've got, a, you know, a couple of uh, a cupboard up here, and, uh, and this is my egress window. This is uh, my step when I'm working in here. I usually have it up because I need the extra room to work but there's a step there and then this step here it uh, is closed with a latch and then just bring these 
down like this and it can get adjusted but to be honest with you I do not need the legs um, there's this is totally supported by um, a beam or that goes across this way so when the, it comes down it leans up against that so um, the legs are kind of more for show than anything if they're not necessary but just step up here and step up here and then I crawl onto my bed and there's file storage up in this area here I've got my printer and, and that type of thing so when I retire in a few years um, I'll probably have a lot of extra space up there right here I have um, some extra spots for filing and, and that type of thing and I also have filing in here and place for supplies and and I even have a shredder back there so because I need a shredder and uh, but all my supplies are up there Oh, this is my garden, yeah. I've got raspberries and blueberries and they've been producing really well. And then I have some herbs and some uh, ra strawberries and some more herbs over there. But, and that, those pretty little flowers there are cilantro that have gone to seed and so I'll have coriander, which is another herb. And uh, yeah, and I got a plum tree that I'm actually gonna put in the ground. This shed was originally meant to house my batteries for the solar, but now it's just kind of like stuff stuffed in there because I don't have the solar at this point. Open that up. So there's my electric hot water tank. Just a little thing and I haven't run out of water yet. Well, thanks a lot for coming and looking at my tiny house. Take care. Alexis and Christian here with Tiny House Expedition. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click left or right for more tiny house stories and tours.